Hello, hello, hello. Listen to that. You hear that? You hear that? That's what peace sounds like. That's what peace and quiet sounds like. You know, it's been four months. I hadn't heard one person scream and holler at me. I haven't heard one person have an attitude. It's just been so nice. So I went out to the Dollar General a while ago and uh, I, I went ahead and got some of these orange triangle um, socks. Um, they come in winter socks. They come in, um, these are winter socks and these are winter socks. But yeah, I just, I just picked up a lot of them because my winter socks, um, I'm kind of running low on them. I, I can't find my receipt for these socks, but um, they're ringing up like 90% off, I think. Um, this was $3.50. No, it's 70% off. And um, yeah, they were they were really cheap. I, you're on my phone, so I can't be scanning it, but I don't know what I did with my receipt. But um, y'all go get you some. I also got one of these. This is a, a gray dot. And, man, I wish I knew where my receipt was. Here it is, right here. So I could share this with you, but, um, yeah, let's see the... The ear warmer, this was a dollar. Dollar and five cents. So, um, I don't know what that is. But anyway, the socks, I got the socks, like, for a dollar a piece. Um... A dollar fifty, a dollar five. Um, so yeah, these are some good socks, and I really needed some because I kind of uh, run out of my winter socks as much, and I definitely need some that are kind of like shoes. These are definitely shoes like, and I can wear them around the house. I could even wear them out on the back porch. But anyway, um, look where I'm at, and it's not even Tuesday. Uh, Taco Casa has their, uh, all their drinks are $1.50. So I went ahead and got me a big one because this is the same price as a small. It's one of the few places I can get a Dr. Pepper. Because I usually drink Coke at the house. But when I go out, sometimes I like a Dr. Pepper. So, my mother loved Dr. Peppers. So every time I sip a Dr. Pepper, it really takes me back to my childhood. And look, I got a taco. Now this taco is their super taco. It has lettuce and tomatoes and sour cream on it. Now it's twice as high as the regular tacos, but when I added up two of the regular tacos and one of these, this still came out cheaper. Plus you get some sour cream and some tomato. So I went ahead and got the bigger one and a cup of salsa, cause you know I like this salsa. Uh, way better than I like this salsa. I mean, I like them both, but the cup salsa is more like pico de gallo type. I mean, uh, real salsa like paste, picante sauce. And it's really good. So, I'm going to <coughs> open this taco and see if we can't uh, get it out of here so y'all can see what it looks like. But I want to thank y'all for coming on my live stream last night. Um, I, I did not plan that. I've never ever done a live stream. Well, I've, I have done a couple, but I've never done one that late at night. But uh, yeah, take a look at this. Look at that. I mean, that's a big taco, man. And look how big it is. Um, I don't want to spill it, but Look how big that is. It's like, goes down that far. That's pretty big taco. But um, let's see if I can get some of that stuff to go down in there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get no salsa in there at all. But um, they didn't give me no napkins. The good thing I'm a Girl Scout because I keep them in my glove box every time i get extra napkins i put them in my glove box so 
I must have had a shortage of um, napkins in a previous life because for some reason, I just can't keep from saving them. So, um, yeah, let me just pour some of that right on the top there. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get it all over me trying to eat it, but I'm gonna do my best. But, yeah. Good as it ever was. Mm, very good. Man, oh man. You know, I was taking a nap all ago, and I was thinking about, hmm. I had to go to the Dollar General when I got up because I had to get some allergy medicine. My allergies are just terrible this time of year. It makes my eyes water and so I had to go get some Zyzels and those are the best allergy medicine. But Dollar General has been carrying a coupon on their Zyzels. One of them had a dollar coupon and one of them had a $2 coupon. So of course, you know, I took the $2 one. I had the $2 coupon, but yeah, I just love whenever your medicine's getting coupons on them. What? Y'all told me how y'all love the stories I told last night. I got another one I'm coming up with. I've been writing it down and stuff, so I'm going to share those with y'all, but um, I didn't know how to operate the live stream. So, I didn't get to get the monetization turned on so I could get paid for y'all's views until after I turned the video off and stopped the live stream. So, at the end of my video, uh, Christine came on. And Christine, if y'all don't know who she is, she is the country couponer. And the country couponer and I have been friends from the start. From the start of when she started her YouTube channel. Uh, she is just the sweetest girl. But her and her family came to Fort Worth, Cowtown for a vacation. And she lives in Memphis. And so they came to Cowtown. And while she was here visiting the stockyards which a lot of people do she had contacted me uh, I don't know through Facebook or Messenger or something and she was like she sure wanted to be able to, to uh, get to meet me while she was here so before I could even get my shoes on and my purse together and everything she had uh, texted me back and said that her husband and her couldn't wait and they were on their way to San Antonio. So I was very disappointed, but anyway, when she got back from her vacation and back home, she started her YouTube channel and she and I have been friends ever since that day that she came to Fort Worth. And um, she has, she's, she's tech savvy, you know, uh, she's got college and she's she knows computers and stuff and Christine has always helped me with my YouTube channel and um, Whenever I used to just make videos. I would leave the uh, The settings on public 
when I was uh, monetizing it and stuff. And I'd get two or 300 views before I would ever get the monetization turned on. And so Christine, she, I don't know how she knew that, but um, she asked me and told me if I was doing that, that I'm losing money. So she helped me fix that problem. And um, so Saturday night with the live stream, I told her, it's like, I don't know how to turn on the uh, make money part of the live stream. And, and she told me and she helped me again. So I just want to give a big shout out to Christine in Memphis, um, the country couponer. Uh, she does a lot of remodels and stuff, and I don't do a lot of remodels um, because in the wintertime especially, but I don't like to get out in the dark. I don't like to leave my house by myself when it's dark. So I, I haven't been to a lot of remodels. I've been to a couple of them, but she's real good at it. Her and her sister will get up and they'll travel. And uh, they've got a team, so they're not, you know, they're not worried about getting out and getting you know broke down on the highway or nothing but anyway i just want to tell christine thank you thank you thank you for all the help you give me and she is my tech savvy person and when i try to ask my son about stuff my son bless his heart he'll give you nine reasons and uh wound around the bush nine times him hawing around how to fix it and he never really gets to the point he, he wants to sound real important and <laughs> like nobody knows nothing but him. And so I just got to where I don't ask him. I just ask, like Christine, she'll tell me. She don't have to give me 900 reasons why. But anyway, thank you, Christine. I was gonna go back this morning and look at that video and read all y'all's comments but for some reason the comments aren't on that video I have a few comments they're the ones that I could see but the rest of them aren't there I can't find them so Christine if you're watching and you know how to get my comments on that live stream <laughs> I need your help <laughs> but I was going to read the comments and see what everybody is saying because I had that ring light right in my face and the phone's right there. So, you know, the ring light like blinds you and it's a round circle. So when, when you try to block the light this way, it comes down here. So if I try to block it this way, it's all up here. So it's like, you know, I couldn't really see my phone. So I don't know, but I'm going to do another live stream. And um, I'm gonna do more of them because I'm home alone and I need company. And y'all seem to be my best friends because I love y'all so much. But I have made so many friends on YouTube in the four years I've been on YouTube. It, it's amazing how many people you can meet on social media that aren't aren't um, ax murderers or something people go well be careful my son always says be careful man you know who you talking to on facebook and youtube i was like you know of course that's that's just normal life stuff you got to be careful wherever you go i gotta be careful right here somebody might, might mug me but you know in general i think there's more good people in the world than there are bad people mm. right I also picked up some of these bit of honeys. You know, I used to love these when I was a kid. These are just the best, and I haven't had these probably in 40 years. <laughs> but bit of honeys, they're really good. Tell me in the comments down there, do y'all like bit of honeys? What kind of candy did you like when you were a kid? that you'd just want to get if you had some extra money. This is one of mine, a bit of honeys. But 
I saw it on the shelf, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. And also, I picked up a couple of these. They were in the clearance uh, candy stuff, but these are the Easter stuff. So, um, I don't know how much off they are, but these are normally like a dollar, and they were like 70 cents or something like that. But I picked up a couple of these because I love caramel, and these are chocolate with caramel. So, that's good. This is getting me full already. Mm. Man, I love tacos. You know, last week I took you to the spaghetti place. And that's just right there. The highway is only like two blocks right there. I can see it in the spaghetti place on the other side of the highway. Taco place on this side. But I think next week I'm going to go next door. Next door right here is the number one Chinese and I love Chinese food too, but I started to go get some chicken when I was out today. And I was like, man, I sure would like a taco though. But I get chicken later. Charlie, he's like telling me, no, I'll get chicken. Hmm. Poor Charlie on that live stream last night. I usually get in the bed about 9.30 or 10. And when I got in the bed last night, he kept watching me because I was fixing my hair and I was putting on a shirt. And he's like, looking suspicious. He's like, it don't look like you're getting your pajamas on. Oh, I think you're up to something. And he gives me that look that you're up to something. And so, you know, I was on that uh, tablet sitting on the bed for two hours and Charlie, he just can't get to sleep when I'm talking and I'm on my tablet or I'm on my phone and I'm on Facebook or I'm on YouTube. He just gets stir crazy. He will circle the bed and get back on his pillow and he'll look at me and <laughs> he just gets upset and he just never could get still. And after I turned y'all off that live and I got under, he still come out from under the covers twice. He has a routine. Sometimes he acts just like a little kid. You know how when you trying to get a kid to lay down and take a nap, they wiggle and they squirm, try not to go to sleep. That's what Charlie does. He, he'll get on his pillow and lay down. Then he'll get up and walk around, and then he'll come and fall back down on his pillow. Then he'll get up, and he'll go under the covers. He won't even lay down. He'll just turn around and come back out. And then he'll uh, lay on the pillow again. Then he'll get up, and he'll want under the covers again. I open the covers, let him under the covers again. He won't even lay down. I know he's not coming. He's not laying down. He's coming back out. So I just hold the covers and wait on him, and... He'll come back out. And it's like he'll do that three times. It's like it's a game to him. <laughs> Just like a little kid. And he does that every night. And he did that last night. After I got in the bed and y'all left and I was turning out the lights. He had to do that again. I was like, you know, I have to do this, Ma. I just have to do this. But he's a funny little character, man. He's got his own rules that he lives by. And, um. You're living, it's his life, and you're just living in it. <laughs> I 
You know, the country couponer just moved this last year and she used to make videos with her kids swimming in her swimming pool. I just love those videos. You know, I love swimming and I, obviously I love to watch people swim. And, uh, you know, I just thought they the luckiest kids. If my mama and my daddy had enough money to live where I could have a swimming pool when I was a kid, I think I would really like that. Um, my mama always wanted to, like, if we lived in a better house, that'd be better. Would y'all, you know, wouldn't that be nice if y'all lived in a better house? I was like, I wasn't too impressed with that, but I think I'd have been impressed with the swimming pool. I was like, you bet, man. I do. But I've got my um, little LA Fitness uh, little card here on my keychain. And I found an LA Fitness in Arlington that's got a swimming pool. So I'm going to dig out my swimsuit out of the closet, which probably ain't going to fit me because I think it's like a size 18. And I just found out <laughs> buying new jeans, I wear a size 10. So. I might have to buy a new bathing suit or just take that one up. But anyway, I'm gonna start going swimming. The LA Fitness, you know, has has a swimming pool and um, I can go there for free because of the senior um, thing for Medicare. They pay now for you to go to the gym. So y'all look forward to that. We going swimming. You know, I went to my number one Dollar General a while ago um, looking for socks. They didn't have any, but I started to tell Christine, the manager, I started to tell her those key lime cupcakes sure was good. And she knows she took them from me. And now I, I thought about it and I was like, no, nah, because if I tell her I went in that dumpster and I got them cupcakes, she gonna start making sure she cuts them up or she gonna make sure somebody puts bleach on them. I was like, nah, just don't do that. She don't need to know. But I tell you, I shared those cupcakes with other people and I've been eating them for two days and those cupcakes are absolutely good. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how long they're gonna be good, but um, I've been eating them. I've been sharing them. I only have uh, one box left that's not open because uh, I have some friends and I've already given them away except for that one box. But I'm eating on one box and then I have one box that's not open. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get to them. But... Okay, so that's all I got left, but I'm gonna take that home. Charlie loves tacos. So he absolutely will eat that. <sighs> okay. So let's see how long did that take? 25 minutes for y'all to eat with me. Thank you so much for eating with me. Y'all like my new shirt? Um, I wore this last night on my live stream. This is an extra large. Um, and then they got the 1X and 2X. But um, I used to wear a 2X. And now I'm just wearing a, a extra large. And my pants are size 10. So I'm really looking good. Um, I was looking at my butt with my new jeans on. And they looking good back there. <laughs> These pants aren't so baggy like my other ones was, but anyway, <coughs> thank you for eating with me. I'm going to go head to the house. Adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye now.